Hey there Titans, in this video I'll show you how to place a file in a content folder in the Lightning Salesforce platform. All right, so let's start from files. So we're um, on my demo organization here. And I've navigated to files and we have, I've added asset libraries by default. I've added a new um, library, testing lib. And we have a few folders in here and we want to place whenever we upload something from Titan uh, forms, we want to push it into the um, correct folder. Okay, so let's just talk about what we see here. So our libraries are represented as a content workspace. Uh, this is the object that represents the library. Uh, we can query it, so we can query it from Titan and see which workspace we want to work with. We can make it dynamic, obviously. The next one we have is once we navigate into the um, library, we have a folder. That object is represented by content folder. And again, we can query our folders and decide uh, where we want to place it and we can make it dynamic. One thing, keep in mind that um, the folder that you're placing it into has to be in the same library you're initially intended to place it in. What actually makes the relationship between the um, file and folder is this guy over here, content folder member. And this is what we need to um, set in order for this to happen, in order for our file to go into the um, correct folder. Notice this, we cannot create it, we can only update. So I'm just gonna show you how it's done in a minute. And the last thing we will be working with is content document link. This basically will create the initial reference between our library and our file. Okay, so let's start. We're gonna do everything static and uh, in the first go, and then I can show you how hypothetically you can <clears throat> make it dynamic according to your needs. Uh, you can see here that we don't have any IDs of anything, not workspaces, libraries, etc. You might get it in uh, classic, might be able to pull it out from the URL. Um, but if you're working in Lightning, you can either use Workbench and then you can just query your content folders and your um, content workspace. So let's just grab it from here and then I can show you how you can do it with Titan as well. And we're looking for content workspace and I need to log in okay so let's grab this and let's say we want to see the name and the ID and we have just two, so we want testing lib. This is where we want to place our files. I'm just going to grab that ID and save it for now. Um, next thing, we will throw in a file upload. Just going to keep it really simple and uh, submit button. And that can be submit. And let's head over to our push. So Salesforce integration, push. Add object, first thing we want to create is file. We'll say create the file. And our action is create. The only thing we need to map here is uh, title. We, we don't have to. In this instance, it will just take the name of the file that we're uploading is the content, is the uh, version, data, and we will map it into our file upload element. And we don't need first published location since we don't have a first published location. We're not saving it on a record. We're just sending it to a library. Hypothetically, you could do that as well. Um, save it on a record and uh, put it in a file. So we'll hit apply. And the next thing we got to get the content document link happening. So we have to create that. So we will do content document link and let's give it a description. 
content document link to the um, library, which in our instance is content workspace. Our action is create, and we will map the data. So <clears throat> first thing we will map is the linked entity ID. The linked entity ID is basically our content workspace or our library. In this instance, I will do a um, static, and again, we can query it, we can make it dynamic, I'm just trying to show you the basics. And next up is our content document ID, and the content document ID gets created automatically once we uh, send content version to Salesforce. So what we will do is we will select our content version, the first thing we pushed, and we will get the content document ID from that guy. And share type, we will do other, this is static, we'll do I, and we do not set visibility. We hit apply, and apply, and now we have one more step. So we're going to add a child to this one. And what's happening behind the scenes once we create the content uh, document link is that the content folder member is being created behind the scenes by Salesforce. So we don't need to do it. We just need to get it um, and update um, the relationship over there. So what we will do is look for content folder member desired folder Okay, and our action is update. And very, very important is to select the last one because basically there are two that gets created and if you take the first one, it will not work since the first one is like a default relationship uh, between the master or library or some sort. Okay, so we're grabbing the last one and then the only thing we need to map is parent content, parent content folder ID. And that one, again, you can do a dynamic from, basically we're mapping a content folder ID. Uh, you can do a dynamic um, by querying them, uh, the folders, or we can do it static. Let's just uh, grab that uh, from here. And let's take a look at our content folders. And I wanna grab name, and I wanna grab ID, and let's query it. Okay, and we have some stuff here. Let's take a look at our files. Um, let's say we want to do a, let's add a file in here. So, sorry, let's add a folder and we'll say um, baby D. And we want to push our files into here. Let's just grab that ID. And we have baby D, and I'll grab the ID from here, and we will put it over here. I'll hit apply and finish, and we didn't do a condition, that's correct. And what we want to do here with the content document link is like, sorry, that's the content folder member. So we want to grab the content folder member where the child record ID, which is what's being held inside, equals our content version, or we can go to the content document link, it doesn't really matter. We can go in here and say content document ID. Since the child record ID on the content folder member, this is basically what relates them. So if we will take a look at the content folder member, we can see that the child record ID holds the relationship um, to our, our content document. So this basically what tells Salesforce where to show your um, file, in which folder to show your file. Okay, so we've done that. We'll hit apply, finish, and let's uh, take it for a test drive. Okay, so we're publishing it, and let's go ahead and get a, a picture of, uh, let's do this one. And let's submit. 
Perfect. Okay, first thing, let's go to our library, testing lib, go to the donkey folder, baby D, and we have our image. Beautiful. Now let's take a quick look at our integration logs. And let's see what we've done here. So we created a file, then we created a content document link, and then we updated the content folder member. And again, when you query that, get the last one, not the first one, because there are two being created and we can only update the last one that's created. Um, okay, so let's say you want to do it a bit dynamic. I'm not going to do the whole flow here, but hypothetically, I'm just going to bring it into a table because it's the easiest to show. Um, let me just make this bigger. And obviously you can query it with conditions here. I'm just going to put everything in here and this table will be, um, let's do a content folder. And that will be the ID and the name. And we don't need this one. And this will be Put it over here our um, workspace content workspace and table and again just ID and name will do it and this technically would hypothetically work just with one library but just in case you do it's very easy to grab the information and again here I'm just gonna get it I'm just gonna get all of them okay so I see I have already a get let me get rid of it and let's call it folders <clears throat> And here, this is just a get all. You can set a condition that you want it to be in a specific library according to conditions. You can save your library IDs or folder IDs and hidden and decide according to conditions to where you want to push it. It's really up to you. The, the sky is the limit. So what we want to do here is no condition, just execute it on load. We want to get all of them. We'll limit by 20. Let's map our fields and we will say folder. So content folder ID, we'll map it to the content folder ID, and this is our name. And, oh, we didn't do the other one. So let's do um, content workspace. Which is our library. Interesting, they call it here a library, so let's call that. And <clears throat> and let's run it on form load. What we will map again is ID and name. Let's take a look. Okay, let's go ahead and publish this thing view and here is our info so this is our folders and this is our um, libraries again you can grab that according to conditions manipulate the data and push your files wherever you like and this is how it's done